Hi, it's Ruth Sarah. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have a planner review for you of Hubman and Chub Girl Planners. I'm really excited to share it. So if you're interested in seeing the sort of things they have on offer, then keep watching. When you go on to Hubman and Chub Girl, if you go into shop by product, then you go to journals and planners. You can see they have a whole info page and it makes it really easy to find. They actually have new, just released, Tom O'River paper planners say that five times fast <laughs> and then they have a three month daily that's their normal paper and then they also have a vertical yearly and then they, as well as that they offer dot grid journals which, which is for fantastic for people who bullet journal and don't want predetermined layouts they want that flexibility and then finally they have an option for plain notebooks so a quick disclaimer and then we'll get stuck in i actually purchased a journal three month daily and a vertical by myself because like I was saying I wanted to do a review and I reached out to the company to see if I could get some more information so that I could make this as informative as possible and they said that it was a bit of a coincidence because they were releasing their new um, Tomo River planners and they would send me one and I of course said yes please so I didn't pay for the Tomo River paper planner but I bought the rest and then as well as that, as a sort of thank you for showing their planners, which is not why I did it, they gave me a voucher and I used the voucher to get some Hobonichi Cousin kits, which actually fit the Tomo River paper daily. So I'll be showing you the three planners, a dot grid example. I don't have a copy of the plain notebook, but I'll talk through all the different stats for it just in case you're interested. So hopefully this is really helpful for you. There's chapters in the video if there's specific parts you're interested in or if you want to go back to it because it's will be a lot of information. And if it's your first order, don't forget to use my code RuthSarah15 and get yourself 15% off. And the link is in the description below. Okay, so let's start with the brand new planner, why not? The Tomo River Paper one. And we'll go from there. So this is pre-made monthly, weekly and daily layouts mixed with grid pages, which is awesome, monthly, weekly and daily. Uh, it features smooth and lightweight Tomo River paper and you can use it, like I was saying, with their Hobonichi kits. Tomo River paper, for those of you who don't know, is fountain pen friendly due to its resistance, like ink bleeding and feathering and stuff. And it's lightweight and it's thin, so the idea is to reduce the thickness of notebooks and planners. So that is a huge plus. There are cons to it in the sense that I have heard, this is the first time I've ever even had actual Tomo River paper in front of me. So I can have a tendency to smudge like gel pens unless you let it dry. And that's something that's always made me a little iffy about it. But if that's something you're okay with and you don't mind letting the, the pen dry before you flip pages and stuff like that, then of course you get the pros of it not being as thick and heavy and the the fountain pen usage if you're a fountain pen user so I suppose it's just personal choice to weigh up those pros and cons and see if the Tomo River paper is for you or if you'd rather have the normal paper. Right so the options for the covers at the minute for these ones are Cozy Cat, Cute Characters, Plants, this one, Froggies and Stationery and they're all undated all of their planners are, I'll not keep mentioning that feature, but they're all undated so you can use it at any time, purchase it at any time and do it in any order. So if you wanted to buy four of these planners to use throughout the year, you could, would have one for each quarter that you could use throughout the year. And then what you could do is you could maybe buy like a little magazine rack and because they're so slim, you could just put all four in that magazine rack and put like a vinyl sticker on the side saying the year and keep them all together. And you get the plus then of being able to get a brand new planner and start afresh every three months, which is awesome. It's 52 GSM. It's A5. 5.7 inches wide and 8.25 inches tall. This has a vegan leather soft cover. If you look, you can bend this right in half. It's not cardstock or anything, but it is definitely thinner than their normal style of a soft bound cover, which you'll see in the next planners. Um, so just bear that in mind and it's vegan leather soft cover. So there are 200 pages in this little planner and we have two bookmark ribbons, a pen loop and a pocket at the back. So everything you would get with a journal that you would buy, a dot grid journal, only this is a planner. 
So let's take a look. So on this first page you have a doodle pattern of all different stationery items. The logo, the type of planner, three month daily. And then it gives you a bit of details like I just mentioned about the 200 pages etc. This little logo over here is gold foil. And then you have this planner belongs to and two lines to write your name. So the first page is grid. Now you do get that. I say this all the time on my channel. When you have a bound book, the first page is usually glued up quite high. And I find that too annoying to use. But you can use it. Personally, I just glue it. But you have a graph page there if you want it. And it's very, very faint grey. The outer edge of this sort of box here is darker grey but the inside is quite pale. So you have that grid spacing to space things out. If you wanted to do a title cover or whatever, that you have that blank page. Then you get a monthly page. And I think it's fantastic that they have a graph within the month. That isn't something that's actually very common because you usually get a layout and inside the square is blank in the monthlies. And for lining stickers up or writing straight or making little checklists and lots of different things, I just think that's fantastic. The this month column is on the left and the date square is actually on the left, which is what different than what I'm used to as well. I don't really think it makes a difference actually, to be honest, but just bear that in mind depending on your preference. And I think it has the right balance. The, the actual lines are slightly darker, but the graph itself isn't so dark that it's too much. It's just enough that you're able to have that guidance to lay your stickers down. Then the next page after you get your monthly, you get two grid pages. So this is what I would use as my dashboard page um, in my planner, or you could use it as a brain dump or a notes page. And the fact that I'm listing off these, or you could use it as, is a huge plus to me. I don't like it, too much structure in that if you have a little box here and, and then this is labeled as top goals and then something is labeled as priorities or something like that. This is totally blank. It's blank, but you have the guidance again of the graph paper so you can keep things straight. And if you wanted, you could get a ruler and create your own sections really easily. So that's brilliant. This paper is so smooth. Then you go to your weekly layout. So you have your this week section over in this corner. But if you're using stickers to date this and you have your kits and stuff, you could easily change that and just put the Monday there and decide that you want to make the this week over here or change it to priorities or just put a big sticker down it if you don't want to use it. It has that flexibility. And you have the grid inside all the sections. Absolutely perfect. Then you get another graph page. If you wanted, you could turn it into another weekly layout and divide it into sections um, horizontally or something. Um, and because you have those graph lines there again, it makes it really easy. And you have the benefit then of having two weekly layouts. Maybe one is for events and personal stuff. Maybe one is for work. Or you could just use it as another brain dump. Then you get your daily and the whole thing is got graph inside it. Um, it says today up at the top, whether you want to cover that or keep it, it's up to you. And then you get a timed section down here from six o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock at night. So you get a section up here that's slightly smaller and a section down here, and then a long section at the bottom. This screams to me washi strip sticker, but if you wanted to use it for something, you could. Anyway, you get seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then when you get to the end of the seven days, you get two grid pages and then it goes back to another weekly spread. And then once you've had your weekly spread, you get your grid page and another seven days. And you get five of those weekly sections with the weekly, the grid pages and the da dailies. So let me see if I can <laughs> explain this. So you get a monthly, then grid pages, a weekly, I'll just say seven dailies then, but you know there's a grid page beside the seven dailies. So the weekly, then seven dailies, and then you go back to grid pages, weekly, seven dailies, grid pages, weekly, seven dailies, 
five times. Right, so I marked it, so hopefully this will help. <laughs> so this, say you were using it for the last quarter of 2023. So this section here would be October. So your month, your grid pages, your week, your seven days, and your week section is time five, times five. And then you would have this section would be November with all the same thing. And then the final section would be December. So I think it would be beneficial to actually tab this planner for the months and then use the ribbons for the weekly and the dailies. These are the two ribbons, by the way. These will come coordinating with whatever cover choice you made. So because this is the plants one, you get a dark green and it goes the whole way to the edge here, which is handy because I would pull it out and then flip. And then you get a light green and then you get to the very back so this is the last daily of the third month and you get one, two, three, four, 11 graph pages and a blank page here, which has the binder, um, the glue thing rather, that the front has. So I would probably just sacrifice that and have 10 pages. And then at the back, you get the same pattern that you had at the front, the gold foiled logo and a back pocket. So if you want to keep the current kit you're using for that week with you at all times, you can, and you have everything you need ready to go on the go. And a little pen lip. So that is the TRP three month. Okay, next up is the three month daily. So this is pre-made monthly and daily layouts mixed with dot grid pages. There's no weeklies in this, but you could use the vertical yearly alongside it, which we'll look at in a second. It's current covers are blue stationery, cozy cat, which is this one, plants and froggies. This is A5 also, exact same size, 5.7 inches by 8.25. This one has 144 pages. So this one has only dailies and monthlies and it's 144 pages. This one has monthly, daily and weekly and it is 200 pages. Therein lies the benefit and the appeal of having Tomo River paper. And while this one was 52 GSM, this one is 115 GSM. So you get two bookmark ribbons, a pen loop and a pocket at the back. So the cover, listen, is stronger and it doesn't bend. However, I still consider it soft bound because if you look at my actual hard bounds, you know, that is a hard bound book. That is not, and I was really tough to describe that. <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. But you know, unless you're holding it yourself, it, it is really hard to get, but it is, it's a lovely feeling. It's lovely and soft. It's definitely not hard bound in my opinion anyway. So this one has, three monthly layouts, 98 daily pages, and 53 dot grid pages interspersed throughout. So let's take a look inside. So this is plain on the inside. It doesn't have the doodles, um, but it does have the Hobbit and Chug Girl logo and then the type of planner. And then down at the bottom, it has this planner belongs to. Then you get a plain page and a dot grid page. And the dot grid is very light, very pale gray. So it wouldn't interfere with whatever it is you're putting down, but it's enough to actually have that guidance. And then this is the glue to high page as well. However, on the other side, you get another two dot grid pages. So you could just glue them together. And then you get your monthlies. And in this one, the months are all together. So you'll get three in a row. And you can see the difference already. The top has a band if you want to put a title or washi. The bottom has a band. However, there is dot grid in both these sections. And then your monthly section is here. And instead of grid on the inside, there is dot grid inside the squares. And there's no little square to say which side to put the date on but the dot grids are in there. And then you get a sidebar section and it has dot grid inside it too. So just by a quick comparison, you can see that the TRP one is more dedicated to the space being given to the boxes. And this one has additional space. So the actual monthly squares themselves are smaller, 
but if you, you have the extra space around the edges, then after your three monthlies, you get another two dot grid pages. Then you get a further dot grid page and your daily. At the top you get some letters and if it was Wednesday you were doing it on, you could maybe use like a Zig Clean color dot marker or a highlighter and highlight that it's Wednesday or you could cover it if you wanted with the day of the week. And on the right side you get a water habit tracker but you could cover that and make this habit tracker anything you wanted. Then you get a time section down the left hand side. This one goes from 6 a.m. to 11 rather than to 12. And the way the hours on the Tomo River one have the number in the middle of a line. This is in sections. You see the difference between the two. And this one is actually a smaller space dedicated to the times and this one is the full page dedicated to the time. And then over here you have three header bars and then three sections getting progressively larger that have dot grid in the middle and then two dot grid pages. This is fantastic because I was saying that you could use the vertical yearly alongside this but you could actually, if you wanted, create your own weekly spread because this happens at the start of every daily. There's always two dot grid pages, a single dot grid page, and then seven dailies. And that's two good reasons for me. One being what I just said, you can have a weekly spread um, and you could even maybe do like a, not a further weekly spread here or some sort of weekly dashboard. It's completely limitless because it is dot grid and you do what you want. But the second reason is that it puts your days the same. And maybe that's just me being a little bit obsessive. But Monday will always be here. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two dot grid pages. And it's not running continuously where it all jumps about. And that's, that's important to me. So <laughs> it's worth noting. Anyway, so the months were all at the start, so the days and this layout is all together and that happens uh, enough for three months worth. So that accounts for the 98 daily pages that I mentioned and the 53 dot grid pages interspersed throughout and it'll last you for three months. And then you get right to the back and we have another section of dot grid pages and you get one, two, 11 again. So I again would glue the 11th page because of the glue. Then the back is blank. You have your Hogman and Chub Girl logo and your pocket. This one, this is a difference, has a elastic closure. And that's probably to do with the thickness and if you're chunking it up with stickers and stuff, it's handy that you have that little elastic closure to keep it closed down. So that's the two daily options. So this is the vertical yearly planner. So the cover options are mushrooms, origami sheba, stationary rainbow foil, lemonade, boba, hungry pandas, cozy cat, happy plants, which is this one, Parisian cafe, and honey lavender. So this is actually A5 wide, 6.75 inches that way and 8.25 that way. So if you compare it to the size of a normal A5, it's the same height, but it's wider. It's 144 pages, same as this. And it's also 115 GSM. It has two bookmark ribbons, a pen loop, and a pocket at the back. So this one has 12 dot grid pages, 12 monthly spreads and 52 weekly spreads. So the inside is plain, like the second one I showed you there. But this banner belongs to the planner type and the logo. And then we have a dot grid page, the glue page, and then two dot grid pages here. Oh, we actually have more. So one, two, three, four, five, six dot grid pages and then you get your first monthly spread. So this one doesn't have dots or grids in the main monthly, just bear that in mind, but it does have grid on the side section. You get a header sort of banner here, and then it's darker, I say darker gray, but it's still very muted along the top where you would do Monday to Sunday or Sunday to Monday, whatever you want. 
It doesn't have the square to show which side, so you can put it on either side. And I never counted how many there are. I presume there's five. One, two, three, four, five, five, and five. And again, all the months are going to be at the start. So because this is a yearly, you'll get 12. And then you go straight into your weeklies. This one is lay flat, lay flat as well. So you have eight vertical sections and there's a space in between each section. It has grid inside each section. And one of them doesn't have like a header column. If you were covering it with a sticker, it wouldn't matter because you could swap that easily. This must be for the date, these two sections, I presume. Because it's graded, you have the area to space things out. If it didn't bother you not having it here in your monthly, at least you would have it in your weekly. And you're going to have 52 of these right to the back. And then here are the ribbons, a sort of tealy minty green and a darker green. You get to your last weekly spread and you have one, two, five, if you don't glue the two pages at the end with a glue issue, and four, if you do. Then you have blank at the back, hotman and shovel curl in the corner, and a back pocket. That's better. So they all have the material at each side, and then this part at the top. You could keep your weekly kits with you at the back of your planner, which is handy. And you get a pen lip, and like the other daily, you get an elastic closure. There are other options like dot grid journal. So these are for someone who wants to design their own spread. So, are you ready for the cover options with these? <laughs> They're current cover options. Mm. Sunflower Critters, Honey Lavender, Happy Bees, Parisian Cafe, Hungry Pandas, Summer Mermaids, Boba, Stationery, Starry Night, Cozy Cat, Magic Castle, Happy Plants, Sea Turtle, Dinosaurs, Travel, it's actually a set of two, Farm Friends, Lemonade, Midnight Carnival, Beach, Beige Wedding, Blue Wedding, Green Wedding, Purple Wedding, Pink Baby, Blue Baby, Movie, Coffee, and that's this one, Autumn, Mushrooms, and Lucky Duckies. <laughs> so plenty of options for the covers for them. So this is A5. It's 5 by 5.7 by 8.26, and it's dot grid, as I mentioned. 144 pages, 115 GSM, two bookmark ribbons, a pen loop, and a pocket at the back. And the covers, by the way, I never mentioned, this is the same, and this as this one. The only one that's different is this new one. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's a dot grid, there's no different spreads, it's just blank. So the opening is blank, only the instead of this belongs to, it's up at the top rather than at the bottom. With your logo, you have your glue page with the dot grid, and then you have your 144 pages of dot grid. So completely open to do with whatever you want. And then blank at the back with your glue page, Hobman and Child Girl logo here, no doodles. And then you have the pocket, the pen loop, and these are gorgeous colours, this one. A brown and a green bookmark and an elastic closure. The one that I don't have, they also have plain notebooks and they are actually square, five inches by five inches, but they're also 115 GSM, 144 pages with the bookmark ribbons. I don't know what the cover would be like because again, I don't have that one, but they're like their ske sketchbook option, their plain one. Um, they have one that's on a coil that's spring plants. And then the rest that are the soft cover ones are Tropical Fun, Rainbow Unicorns, Froggies, Travel, and Origami. So they're released throughout the year, and they do it either as an individual release, like they did with their TRP planners, or they can do them as part of their main monthly theme. So they do it in advance. So at the 25th of September, they released October's theme, which is Origami Sheba, and they're all available now to buy. 
but if you go on the 25th of September onwards, it'll be in the November theme. However, you'll still be able to go back because you can buy the planners. I'm just saying the themes change every month. So it's something that you're always going to be able to have the option to get because there's that many different releases and options for the covers that you'll, you're will you sure to find something that you like. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of pens and I'm going to do a test. I will write it twice, but I'll do one straight away to see if it smudges and I'll leave the other side for a bit and come back to it and see if after a minute or so then it's still okay or how long it takes. And the same with this one, which I'm really curious about. So my liner, Big Clean Color Dot, Zebra Sarasa Vintage Gel Pen and a Sharpie S Gel. This one is 0.5 and this one is 0.7. A Uniball Signo Metallic and a STA metallic, like thicker marker. And then we'll also try a Posca paint pen. And then let's do an N55 Tombow marker. pleasantly surprised with this and maybe the Hoban Nietzsche Tomo Rivo paper is slightly different but I always got the impression like it was really oh still my hands <laughs> ah. anyway I always got the impression that it was really bad you know the things that smudge really badly obviously smudged on both like the Posca paint pen and the marker and the metallic one but like look, the Sharpie S gel and the Zebra you know, they're not really that different. And if I get out, let me get out my, this is 160 GSM, like a scribbles that matter paper. I'm going to sacrifice a corner of this for you. I wanna see, does it smudge straight away too? I can cover it with a sticker. And right, that's uni metallic. Yeah. So I don't really see why it's, you know, that it's particularly worse as a first impression. That's a normal gel pen then, Zebra. Mm. You know, I don't think that's a deal breaker for me. And it actually feels really smooth to write on. I'll never really know unless I actually properly tried the planner. But I guess that's part of the perk of having a three month. Because you would only be stuck with it for three months if you really hated it. It wouldn't be a case that you've committed to this full year and can't stand it. And I am properly impressed. I'm going to continue to give this another second to dry and we'll try. Maybe it's a case that this is going to smudge even after sitting for ages and that's a downfall. I don't know. I'll give it a second and come back and we'll check. I'm really pushing down. Look. I think that's because my finger's dirty, because that's a different colour. I'll use a different finger. Ooh. But I suppose it depends how much ink you use. So my conclusion is it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be when it comes to writing. Again, I'll not know until I actually put it into practice, but first impressions are good. So I'm gonna check for ghosting and bleed through really quickly. So I did expect this to have ghosting because it is on the thinner side and it does, but I can confirm that there's no bleed through. And then the 115 GSM one, if we flip it over, it still actually has ghosting, but it's not as prominent as you can see. And there's no bleed free on it either. So that is the test for that, just in case you're curious. So my opinion, I am genuinely impressed with these and a little bit excited about it, to be quite honest. This layout is, 
everything I have been wanting, weekly, daily, monthly, all in the same. It's got grid inside the columns. It is the monthlies, the monthly, weekly, dailies run like that rather than having all the monthlies, all the weeklies and then all the dailies. I am so impressed with this, I really am. The only thing I would say is I think I prefer the daily layout in this one. Just because, I don't know, I don't really know why, just a personal preference. I just like this layout better, but I don't necessarily hate this layout. I don't know, this one just sways it for me. But I really think it's something that I would definitely try and the quality is outstanding, the themes are outstanding and I'm a little bit blown away to tell you the truth. And I would say that regardless of whether I had been sent that planner or not, I really mean that. I, do, I am so impressed with these planners and I'm looking forward to giving them a try. And I'll make sure to keep you updated. Um, with what I think as I actually put them into use. And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you find it really helpful. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.